All right, welcome. This is Mr. Sampson speaking, and we are starting Chapter 7. So this is 7.1, Chapter 7.1, Classifying Angles. Now, if you go back to my Google Classroom, well, hold on. First off, we're starting out on page 62 right now, and then we're going to go to page 63. So these notes are two pages, 62 and 63, okay? Now, if you go back to my Google Classroom, I posted two videos on math, uh, they're math antics videos. The first one is called Angle Basics, and the second one is called Angles and Degrees. You want to go back to my, and watch those. You can also just look them up on YouTube. They are on YouTube. Uh, just put in Math Antics and put in Angle Basics. It'll come up. Um, you can and then watch the second one which is angles and degrees in there it will give the answers to these notes right here parallel lines are lines that will never blank when lines do lines do cross they blank and when they call when and we call that point blank so these answers are there in the video you have to watch the video and find them they are there so you got to go back and watch the video right now if you're trying to do the notes okay so go ahead and go back and do that, and then come back to this video on YouTube as well. All right, see you later. And for those of you that are still continuing on, you already watched the video, you're good. All right, so we're going to go on here. You should have your answers already for the angles here, yes? So you have a certain angle right here, right? You have a certain angle right here, which has that square, and then you have the certain angle here and a certain angle here, okay? So you should have them from the video. It's on the video, okay? So make sure you have it. All right, starting with example one from the notes. We need to name, so we have an angle here. We need to name this angle, and there's four different ways to actually name this angle uh, at the right, and then we're going to classify it as either acute. Let's do this. Let's go back. We're going to name it as acute. Nope. We're going to name it acute, right, obtuse, or straight. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to name it. Now, when you name it, um, it, it, you name it from the points, right? So in this case, you got X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to name it angle X, Y, Z. So in the, in the angle symbol is, this is the angle symbol right there, right? That's the angle symbol. It looks like a less than, but it's actually an angle symbol, okay? So angle X, Y, Z. Remember, Y is in the middle, so Y has got to be in the middle right here. Um, y has to be in the middle, so it's going to be X, Y, Z. Well, the next one, we could go backwards and just name it angle Z, Y, X. You do have to put the angle symbol, though, so make sure you put the angle symbol. Now, there's another way you could do this, which would just be simply, this is angle right here, angle 1, and this is an arch right there, right? So, this tells me that this is angle one, so you could just say angle one. Just write angle one, which is faster and easier. And there's one more way. You could actually just describe this, since there's nothing else around the Y right here, you could just name it angle Y. So there's four ways to do it. Angle X, Y, Z, angle Z, Y, X, angle one, or angle Y. Now, looking at this thing, what kind of angle is it? Well, it's smaller than 90, it's less than 90, so it is acute, and I always remember it as, aww, cute, because it's small and tiny. It's smaller than 90, it's cute, like a small puppy. Aww, cute, right? All right, let's go to the next one. Um, name each angle in four ways, then classify each angle as acute, right, up to straight, or, or up to or straight. All right, let's name these first. Let's say, well, I've got A, you can just track it. I got A, B, C, so I'm going to name it angle A, B, C. I have a C, B, A, so I'm going to name it angle C, B, A, okay? Um, I have angle 2, so I'm going to name it angle 2 because angle 2 is right here. I can name it angle 2. And lastly, um, angle B is right here. You could just name it angle B. So here we go, angle B. So there's your answer right there. Okay, um, now, what kind of angle is this? Is it acute, is it right, is it obtuse, or is it straight? Well, it's a 90 degree angle, yes? It has a square, it has a square right, right there, right? That is a square. 
and a square means it's perpendicular, that means it is a right angle. So it is right. You're going to put right for a right angle. Okay? All right. Um, we'll do one more, and then C I'm going to leave out so that you can actually, if I ask you in class, you have it. So uh, letter B. I need to name this. Well, I have uh, R, S, T, right? So I have R, S, and T. So angle, R, S, T. I have angle go the other way. I have angle T, S, R. Okay, so that's going to be T, S, R. And then I have angle 3, and I have angle S. So those are four ways to describe and, class, and name the, the, the same angle. There's four different ways. Okay, And then what is this? Well, it's obviously bigger than 90. If it was 90, it would be straight up and down and have a square. But it's not 90. It's bigger than 90. It is obtuse. Hang loose with obtuse. All right. Letter C. Um, I'll help you out. Pause the video. Come back to it at the at the end of the of the video. Okay, all right. Thank you. All right. Second page. It's page sixty three in your notes. Page sixty three. All right. Two angles are blank if they are opposite angles. So let's zoom in here. Two angles are blank if they are opposite angles formed by the intersection of two lines. For example, angle one and angle three. Right. And they are called vertical angles, V-E-R-T-I-C-L-E, -E, vertical. So angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical. And uh, do you notice anything about them? Well, angle 2, so let's go, go back, angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical as well. Do you notice anything about them? Well, as you can see, angle 1 and angle 3 are the same. They look the same and they are the same. And angle 2 and angle 4 are the same, right? Angle two and angle four are exactly the same because they are called vertical angles. So here's what you need to know. Vertical angles are what? They have the same measure. They're exactly the same. They are congruent. Okay, so you wanna write that in. All right, two angles. Let's go down here. Two angles are blank if they share a common vertex and a common side and do not overlap. So I want you to, what we're talking about right here, two angles are adjacent, adjacent. Adjacent means next to. So for example, angle one, angle one and angle two are adjacent. They are adjacent to each other. They are next to each other, okay? Well, angle, let's do blue. Angle two and angle three would be adjacent to each other, correct? Okay, let me zoom in. Um, and angle, that's too brown. Angle three and angle four are adjacent to each other. Notice all of these, they make a straight line. They make 180 degrees, right? Four and three make a straight line. Uh, two and three make a straight line, right? Uh, one and four, make a straight line, okay? So these angle one and angle four are adjacent as well, okay? So adjacent, it means next to, next to each other, all right? All right, knowing that, knowing what we know now, we can find values of x, okay? What is the value of x? Well, let's look right here. We're gonna find x using vertical angles, okay? Vertical angles are equal, so this angle right here and this angle right here are vertical angles. They are opposite each other. They are equal. So because they're equal, we can set them equal to each other and set up our problem that way. So here we go. The first one is 2x plus 2, right? And the second one, second angle, is 130, right? 130. There's our setup. 2x plus 2 equals 130. Awesome. So that means we can, we've can we set it up now, do my scale line, and we can solve it, which we've been doing this before. So I'm going to undo addition first, so I'm going to subtract 2. If I subtract 2 to one side, I'm going to subtract 2 to the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to do my step line. Okay, I now have 2x. These cancel out. They become 0. Okay, I now have 2x equals 128. Well, what am I going to do next? Well, I'm going to divide by 2 and divide by 2. 
okay? If I divide by 2, I get x equals 1, 1x, one okay? And 100, which gives me x all by itself. And 128 divided by 2, 64. 64 degrees is the answer, okay? So x, going back here, x equals 64. And I could track it. I could check it by just doing 2 times 64 plus 2. Should give me 130. 2 times 64 is 128. 128 plus 2 is 130. 130 equals 130. Okay, so that's how we find x. Well, what about y? What is the value of y? What's the value of y? Okay, so there's y right there. Let's find out. Well, if we go back and look right here, let's get rid of all of this work that we've already done. Okay, where's y? y is right here. And so what we're going to do is, again, we're going to use vertical angles, okay? So we're going to use this angle and this angle. We know that this angle and this angle are equal to each other. So 3y minus 10 equals 50 degrees. So if we do that, 3y minus 10 equals 50 degrees, okay? So let's do our scale, scale line. All right, now what am I going to do? I'm going to subtract 10. Actually, it's already subtracting. Almost got you, huh? So we're going to add 10. We're going to do the opposite. Add 10, just like we've been doing. Add 10, and I get my first step line. All right, the 10s cancel out, become 0. I'm left with 3y, which is just what I want. Okay, And 50 plus 10 is 60. I'm, an, I'm now going to divide by 3. Okay, Divide by 3, divide by 3. That's going to give me y all by itself right here. y, 1y. y equals 20, 20 degrees. So if I plug it back in, it'll work. Y equals 20 degrees right here, okay? Y equals 20. All right, last one. Last one I'm going to have you do. So you do it and then check your answer um, with me in class or see if you see if you get it right, okay? The answer, you got to have the work, right? The answer I'll get to you in a minute. All right, coming back here, here were my answers. See if you got it right. Angle LMN, angle NML, angle 4, and angle M. And then what kind of angle is this? It is a straight angle. Okay. Awesome. All right. We're going to stop right there. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Chapter 7, Lesson 1, Classifying Angles. Appreciate your time. Have a great rest of your day.